right, so we got my first trying to fix video. We got this Frigidaire <clears throat> ice maker. And uh, it is dirty, so it needs to come apart anyways. So I can clean the mildew from the water out of it. But turn it on. Also, there is water in there. As you can see, yeah, we got to clean that too. It's not good. You don't want that in your eyes. Um, but as you can see, uh, it'll work whether it's closed or not. But it's already on. Turn it on. It's going to cycle. When it comes up, it should stay. But it doesn't. Well, it did that time. But <clears throat> next, it's supposed to pump the water into there. But it's not doing that. As you can see, these aren't blocked. That lets it know that it's full. So, let's uh, take this into the other room and start tearing it down. Let's see if we can figure something out with it. Alright, so, that took considerably longer than I thought to... Uh, get in here to this other room. Um, I had to get the tripod ready and the dog was barking, so anyways. Moral of the story, I shocked myself with a taser. Usually we just use the noise to uh, uh, quiet the dog. Okay, so Never mind the moldiness in here. Let's see how this comes apart. Um, okay, I can see on either side there's screws. So I suppose we can start with that. Got a screwdriver. Maybe I got a bigger one. Yes. Okay. Also, a shout out to my mate Vince. Um, my inspiration for making videos comes from him for making a fix it video. I don't normally. I don't normally record when I fix things, and I I fix things. A lot. I just never, never record it. Okay. So, what does that do for? Oh, not much. Okay, do we have any hidden back here? No. Okay. I don't want to be too destructive. I just want to see the dogs barking again. Let's see, maybe, maybe it just unclips. Again, I don't want to be too destructive. I just want to, okay. 
because all the electronics are going to be in here. And our problem is only partially electronic. Okay, there's got to be, let me do some research and <clears throat> see how it comes apart. Right, okay. So I've figured out how this needs to come apart. <clears throat> um, I just watched a video and we've got to flip it over but I don't want to flip it all the way over because you want to be careful with these because there is a refrigeration compressor inside and you want to be mindful of the oil inside okay so These screws are in there. Oh, pretty. These are in there pretty good. Um, now, obviously, just like my May vents, I have no prior knowledge working on this. Or any anything or anything quite like this. Um, bear with me here. Um, wow. Oh no. That's not good. Maybe it's because I'm not left-handed. Really? Okay, that's not good. <sighs> okay. Well, that's unfortunate. That screw will not, will not budge. Um, that is a problem because I need this, this piece to come out. Because that top part is not going to come off without removing oh. I'll be back I need to find my better screwdriver set all right and we are back with a different screwdriver now this definitely wasn't the screwdriver I was looking for. This is actually my boss's screwdriver. And it has to go back to him soon. But we'll use it for now. So that, that screw that I was having trouble with, it was just in there so tight. And these are cheap. 
Why are these different sizes? Aww. Okay, so I'm gonna have to remember that. The ones up here are shorter than than these. So we'll have four short ones and two two long ones. This one may may be completely different than the one I was watching, but it's yeah. See, okay. So those two are longer than these two. So and this this one that's just flapping around in the distance. That one goes on the inside up there. Oh, lovely. That one doesn't want to come out. Okay. Let's see if we can... Oh, shoot. No. Um... Let's see if we can put some pressure on it and get it to come out. It's not looking good. Okay. Uh, well. All right, well, let's go back to the drawing board here. Okay, so. I'm gonna try taking this front, the front piece off instead. Because if you look, we have all kinds of things attached to the back. And I don't know what, what that's gonna mean. So let's put these back in. frustrating because ideally we need to get that top piece off so we can have a look at the the electronics and stuff I feel like it's just gonna be a limit switch because you can hear the that scoop engages a limit switch so obviously it would have to engage the limit switch before it can run a cycle And 
and I'm thinking it's simple electronics in here, not a, not like a computer controlled. It's, it's just a limit switch, and there's gonna be a little circuit board. Okay, those are the same size. How about this front one? Is it the same size? Although it might be a different screw altogether. Oh, it's the same, and it's the same size. Good. Okay. Okay, all the same size, and I believe we can we can rule power out. I don't even have my multimeter. I don't know where it is. So we're just gonna have to see. Is this gonna come out? Okay, what, what's holding it? Now what's holding it? Anything left in there? Oh, don't tell me it's attached to the other part. Or is it glued? Why would it be glued? Ugh. Well, this is becoming a disaster. see what I can figure out. I'll be back. All right, well, sadly, it looks like my first trying to fix video is going to end in failure because <clears throat> with that screw being stripped and I'm not going to sit here and try to drill it out. Uh, my drill is not the best. I'm not going to try that. So, what I am going to try is since we had the thing flipped over on its side for a while. We've got some nice filtered water here. You can see it in this cup right here. And it's got a, a, a cap full. Just a cap full of bleach now i don't want nobody's gonna drink out of this this is just gonna be to uh you know try and kill this uh mildew stuff um and we're just gonna we're just gonna pour the water in here and see um do we have the same fault or has it just started working again um so yeah let's get the water in here now obviously no they didn't fill it up and that's fine um because it doesn't actually know whether the water is full or not. So we've got our power power lead here. And we're just going to um, uh, see what it does. Okay. Okay. It moved. Let's turn it on. You're kidding me. 
No. Is it really, is it gonna work now? It sounds like it's working now. Hang on. Take a look. It's flowing. Oh, it just turned on. No. Could it have just been something? I don't believe that. Are these getting cold? Yes. Kind of. Well, they only feel cold because they're metal. Um, right, so... Um, I don't know. Let's just see how it does. It's, it's on. It is on. It's on and it's running. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, see, now, now it's getting cold. Okay. Um, right, I hope, I hope that works. Um, if I can get a few cycles out of that, I'm going to, I don't know, I mean, it, it's really hard to clean if you can't get it apart. That, that was the main thing I was looking forward to. Obviously, this part, not a problem to clean. This part, very difficult to clean because it, you just can't get to it very well <clears throat> without taking it apart. And unfortunately, with that screw being stripped in there, it, it just spins and spins and spins. It won't loosen no matter uh, if you pry the metal towards the screw. It doesn't give it any more bite to come out it's just it's just spinning in there so without that screw being able to come out this panel can't come off now I believe this is designed just like the one I watched on the video even though there is very subtle differences these are all pretty much designed the same there's going to be four screws underneath here behind this and this whole top piece will lift up, giving you access, very easy access to this whole, yeah, see, that's ice cold now. All right, let's close that. Um, right, so we're just going to wait, I guess. Yeah, we're just gonna wait and see what it does. So I'll cut the camera back on once uh, once it's completed a cycle. Okay, it's been a couple more minutes. It's still it's still going. That smoke wasn't from the machine. That was from me. One thing that differs from my mate Vince and me is. Uh, I do vape, and you may see that from time to time, just forewarning you, so, you know, just, oh, oh, but look at this, like, hang on, let me unplug the, can the phone again, let's see, I'm using my iPhone to record, because that's just what I have, but you can see it is actually working. And there is ice being formed in there, so. Oh, it's it's done. I don't think those are large ice cubes, but. Okay. Um. Well, it is something. Okay. Oh, and it's doing it again. It's doing it again, okay. I wonder if it's because of the bleach in there. And maybe, maybe it <clears throat> freezes different. 
but it is set to large cubes. It's hard to see with all the light, but it is large. So, okay. Things are looking up for this little ice machine. So, the thing is, okay, our, our refrigerator doesn't have an ice machine in it. It's, it's fairly new. Um, I bought it because it was larger. It was a larger refrigerator and we needed the space. However, our, our old refrigerator did have an ice machine that I had actually just replaced. And unfortunately, the new refrigerator doesn't have a setup for that. It does have a manual ice maker inside. Uh, basically, it's got a, a little ice tray. You pour the water in there, and then once it's frozen, you turn and release the ice. So, my mother has to have ice with everything. She just she has to have copious amount of ice. So this um, this was the compromise, and this worked pretty well for oh over a year. And believe it or not, even though you know you've seen the state of it. It, it is cleaned on a semi-regular basis whenever I get to it. Um, we all use the ice machine, and we should all be responsible for keeping it clean. However, we all work. We're all human. We all procrastinate. It's just how it works. So, yeah. Um... That being said, um, I guess this video was a failure in the sense that I was unable to get into it to find out what could have caused the problem. Um, but it was a success in, in a sense that um, somehow just by having it on its side or maybe just... Maybe it was working and maybe there was uh, just some reason why it wasn't uh, doing what it needed to do. Now, granted, it was out of water. There wasn't much water in there when I um, started. But there was enough that it could have it could have made a small batch if it tried. Um, but I think what it is, is the, the motor has to run a certain amount of time for a cycle. And <clears throat> if, if the motor runs dry before it can do that cycle, uh, it'll just stop. And I think that's what happened is there was a little bit of water in there, but it was enough to just fill that. And what it is, is that the pump will keep pumping and overflow this reservoir here. Uh, and it will run for a certain amount of time and then shut off. So I think what happened was, since there wasn't enough water, it just pumped it. And that filled that up, which meant that the, it was now dry in the reservoir. Which uh, made the pump turn off. And then this dumped the water back in. And then it went through this weird motion where it just it it knew that the water was low but it didn't show it here maybe i don't know but anyways it's, it seems to be uh working now we are freezing again so uh yeah okay so that's my first trying to fix video um i hope you enjoyed um <clears throat> I'm sorry there wasn't much to fault find with this thing. Um, I really wish I could have gotten into this. Um, but it is what it is. Um, turned out to be a 
decent result anyways. Uh, it started working, so... Yeah. Now, my next video trying to fix... I'm going to try to fix my dog's uh, invisible electric fence thing. That's going to be a good one because there is a fault with that. And as long as I can find my multimeter in time for that one... Um, that's going to be an interesting one. What it's doing is it's shocking the collar when it shouldn't, but not shocking the collar when it should, if that makes sense. So, for instance, you can go on the lowest setting or even the next setting up for the boundary level, the distance. It makes like a dome. So, if you can imagine, there's... There's actually two antennas in there. They run one runs like this and the other runs like this. And it creates like a dome boundary. So whether you have it on the lowest setting or the next setting up, you can be like two feet away from it. You can be like five feet away from it inside the house with the box inside the house no interference or anything around it and the thing will start beeping and shocking which is an issue and it, it freaks my dog out because she will she'll go outside 